clutch conversion on the Triumph Tiger 1050. This is a 2011 model. And I'll just walk you through a few things that I've done that you may uh, be interested to know about. One of the things is that I went on Taobao, the AliExpress, and I thought, oh, clutch conversion. I'll order a clutch conversion. So I ordered one and I got this, right? And it's a clutch lever, right? It goes on the handlebars like this. And the other end has this plunger on it. You see the little plunger? So when I, when I pump it, the plunger will go in and out, right? It doesn't do that now because I opened it. But then I realized it won't fit because look at the gap. They, they have a single thing here. So to put this on, I have to remove the whole assembly to get it on here, right? And then the second problem I found was that there's no, there's no electric cable. There's no electric um, cutout switch that I can use. So when I pull the clutch, then I can start the engine and there's a cutout protection. There isn't one on this. So, <sighs> waste my money, but I learned my lesson. And also, I also I discovered, right, is that the, le the size of the bolt used on the clutch and on the brake is different size. You see the, this one is like a six millimeter. Whereas if you look at here, on the brake side, this is a larger, a larger, it's called a banjo and it's 10 millimeter now, of course they won't fit right so if i try to put this on uh i'm completely out of alignment so i went a bit further and i ordered a pair so i now have this okay i have this lever that doesn't come with any cable okay it doesn't come with any cable everything's on the floor and I got a pair, so I get a matching side. So yesterday I did the brake side, so I don't need to walk you through that. I'll walk you through the clutch side. And that will go on here. And notice that I have the double bolt here, so I don't have to disassemble the whole left side to put this on. I can just take this mirror part off with the clutch and put that right in its place. And also notice it has the switch for the auto cutout button, right? And there's a little micro switch. So if you see, when you move the lever, you can press the button. It's much easier for maintenance, all right? Whereas the current one is a little bit of a bubble switch that uses the pressure to trigger the cutout. But this one is the actual switch. And the same on the brake side. So I can wire that into my harness, which I'll show you a little bit later, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do. Now for this, I also have the plunger side, which is if you come around this side you'll see what we're replacing is that that plunger which which uh, uses the hydraulic will pull, pull the plunger in all right it'll have a pull in at the moment it's out and it will go here and it will pull where the cable is this is the cable for the clutch and that will replace the cable and then the cable part here will be the actual hydraulic cable all right so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be putting that here okay now, the most important thing is that we have to prepare to put on the music because you can't do this without the 